Hi guys, Empress G here and um, I hope everybody is doing well. Anyway guys, this weekend here, you know, we have in August Carbana, Carbana weekend is one of the biggest festivals, the biggest in Ontario, um, you know, uh, bringing about $400 million, uh, you know, well, so today they have the kiddie carnival, right, um, you know, for all the children, they go and um, have their fun. So a friend of mine want me to make a lemon pound cake for the kids okay anyway folks before I get into that um I want to send you guys over to this lady called Jenny Ren um, channel she's a fellow Jamaican and um you know what she's very uh, into um, our culture and all that's going on and folks I've um, watched her for a while but today it just she just popped up and I watch it and this one is an episode regarding us uh, Jamaican black women. I think it's like five things, um, you know, about black women. But overall, she was talking about our people in general. And guys, maybe some people don't not gonna want to watch it because there's so much truth in what she was saying. Anyway, go over there and big up that Empress um, Jenny Ren, and tell her Empress G sent you. Okay. All right. So now we get into the pound cake. And this is for the little kiddies, okay? And this is an easy one, folks, the pound cake. So basically, this is a lemon frosted, um, it's not a pound cake, it's a lemon frosted lemon cake, okay? And it's very, it's not a lot of ingredients. We have um, a cup, we're gonna use a cup of white sugar, granulated sugar, and I'll leave all of this in the description down there. And lemon, real lemon, folks, we're gonna be using. And we're gonna use the zest from a real lemon. So make sure you wash your lemon properly. And also, we're gonna be using a cup of unsalted butter um a tablespoon of pure vanilla extract and folks i am so happy i have a friend here who knows somebody that sell directly grenade and vanilla folks and here it is the real grenade and vanilla and essence and i'm so happy so folks i have my real vanilla right here from the spice island grenada so okay so that and then we're gonna have four hex at room temperature um two cups of all-purpose flour sevia flour much better also you know you save the baking powder too because sometimes the baking powder can be lumpy right and you're gonna have two teaspoon of baking powder no no baking soda in this one a quarter teaspoon of salt and if you're using salted butter folks um you know you have to be careful with the salt even though it's a quarter teaspoon okay so if possible use unsalted butter and a quarter cup of freshly squeezed lemon juice and that's for the cake and for the lemon frosting it's very simply gonna use a cup of confectionery sugar what we call granulated sugar or ice and sugar and with a um, three teaspoon of freshly squeezed lemon juice and that's it and folks it's a wonderful cake um it has a nice lemon flavor so here we go ahead now so we have the cup of butter in here already folks so what i do when i'm doing it um okay so folks this is the lemon here right and this is the yellow part so you're just going to use um a little now they have all of these little cute little um grater so you're just gonna grater off just the yellow part not the white because the white part would be bitter all of it all of one um all of one lemon right and the same lemon you're gonna save because we're gonna need a quarter cup maybe you're gonna need more than one lemon for a quarter cup of um possibly just just one lemon here and give it a quarter cup of um lemon juice so folks what i do right now okay we're gonna um cream the sugar and the butter but what i do because this this recipe folks it get curdled very easily i guess from all the lemon and all that so what i do with my sugar and my lemon zest i mix the lemon zest into the sugar and folks that give the sugar a nice beautiful um, scent i don't put it in the lemon zest separate i mix it in the sugar mix it up so once it get inside there you know it's not going to be any or anything so and also give the sugar a very beautiful aromatic smell and lemon folks you cannot go wrong with lemon and folks you, you preheat your oven at 350 okay all right and this cake but both, both i think it did for about 40 minutes or you just check it and so folks you just mix up that lemon zest within the butter and the sugar so this week all the little kiddies were up in Marlboro, up in that area they have the kizzy kitty festival Kitty Carnival. So um, August, I think sometime in August, early August, that's when you have Carabana, the official Carabana. So 
So folks, I had the butter ready, so I'm gonna add the sugar and the lemon zest right now. And folks, you could use the unmixer, but I find uh, um, the standing mixer for this one is so much better, you know? Um, so if you have an unmixer, you can use it. Um, if you don't have none, then you, you the next best thing you use here. Just mix up yourself. That's all, all folks used to doing it all in this, right? Okay, so now I'm gonna cream this to a consistency where it gets brown and fluffy and nice okay i make a mess already okay i'm gonna close it down and i'm gonna start out slowly and this should go for about a couple minutes ago after a while i'm gonna stop and um scrape it down to make sure it's um, blending evenly I always try and hold down this, um, which makes it down um, work much better. Let's put some pressure on the top and hold it down. I'm gonna increase the. Um, and you want it nice and fluffy. because once in a while you need to scrape it down to so make make sure everything is um blending properly so you just scrape down all the sides okay scrape off the paddle all of that down inside back so everything will mix in evenly I just give it another shot for a few more minutes. check and we had in the eggs and it is four eggs folks and um some people put in the egg one by one um you know um they said it i don't see the difference in putting all all four of them at once but um what i do i just put in a little at a time so i don't really count out say for one two three so i'm gonna add in some of the egg right now that's about oh okay and then i'm gonna start mixing that then i'll add the rest I usually like to do this off camera okay I'm gonna add um, a tablespoon of if you have extra fine but I um, or whatever you, you know but I think vanilla extra would be the next best thing to what I'm using I'm using the real vanilla essence and like I said this comes straight from the from Grenada and I'm using 
a tablespoon, a teaspoon, and I also have the real mix essence also from Grenada, and I'm using a teaspoon of that. And folks, you wouldn't like to smell the, the vanilla essence and the essence. It's awesome. It is awesome, real vanilla, folks. Straight from Grenada. Big up Grenada. The Spice Island, that's what it's called, folks. So now I'm so happy I have a friend here that I can get my vanilla and all my stuff from. And if anybody interested, you can just leave a link if you want to get um, the real vanilla essence from Grenada. Okay. Okay, so folks, um, I'm going to mix that in a bit. Okay, so folks, right now, okay, we're gonna put the flour in, and the thing about this recipe, folks, um, right now, you see, it's um, you see, it's curdled, and doesn't don't let that curdle bother you, folks. It with all every all the different things in it that let it curdle. So, what I'm gonna do, I, I always find that what works, um, when I'm putting in the bad in the flour, um, I put in a little bit of the lemon, half and half. I go with half of lemon juice <coughs> in first. And I also add half of the flour. And you start on a very slow, slow. Otherwise, um, you, you know, you don't want to spot in your, spot up in your face, okay? So I'm gonna use half of the butter and I use, start mixing half of the lemon juice. Then we'll do the other half. Because this recipe, the, it curdles inside. And that's because of all of the um, fat in it, okay? So we're gonna um, start slowly. You have to see, see what happened. Oh, see that? You have to go very slowly. And then you run it up when you see it's um, how the butter, the thing was cut in your face. I'm just gonna scrape everything down before I put in the other half of it. So it's gonna be the other half of the flour and the lemon. And you just grease your pan with some butter, folks. That's it. Okay. Now that you have. This is a very easy to do recipe. It's not, it's not a lot of ingredients. Uh, let's see. It's just that flavor from the vanilla is so nice. So this is the rest of the lemon juice, all of it. And I'm gonna add all the rest of the flour. And I, I wouldn't normally do it off camera, folks, so it doesn't, you don't hear the noise. But I just wanna see, you see how, you know, I put it together. I know a lot of folks who wanna watch, they only wanna watch the shorts, but folks, you don't see how the stuff is made from the shorts. And, that's why I continue to make the video because people telling me that they want to see other things, how it's done. So for the folks who also want to watch the shorts, and even when you watch the shorts, you can go over and watch the video and make it. So that's a good, that makes sense right there, right? Yeah. Because you see the shorts, two, two minutes, and I would say to myself, so how is this thing is made, right? right? So that's why I continue to do the videos, and there's people who appreciate the videos still because I get comments people tell me that they would like to see how the stuff is made I'm just gonna try and put my cover on so the flour don't yeah, okay okay and here we go now folks see it coming out at that side wow
let's see this help a bit but it's still flowery so and let's see let's just make sure we write down everything and everything is all mixed in it make sure it's all folks that's it I'm just gonna put it to the pan right now baking pan and the pan was greasy before so and I'm using a nine inch pan folks I'm um, not that you know what it's as wide and flat it's a nine inch pan I'm using for it so okay take this off We're gonna just put it in the pan right now. See, it's nice and fluffy. That's why you want to get that that consistency. Uh, it's something close to a pound cake, you know, light and fluffy. See, folks, it didn't take too long and. Just your one mixing bowl. That's what I love about the standing mixer. I don't know if you go through a lot of bowls. One with the flour, one with the red ingredients, one with the dry. You just put everything in and you mix and that's it. And kids, they love things like these. Anything with some icing on it, you know. And folks, you're just gonna spread it out in the pot, in the pan. Because doing this way, folks, it does very flat and it comes out um, nice and eerie. You don't have a, yeah, just even out everything and don't let it all puffed up in the middle, otherwise, you're gonna have a puffy lemon cake. So you just, um, work everything out with a, a little small spatula or what I'm doing here where you make sure it's all smooth out and you see this is why I use a nine inch pan yeah if you have a eight and a half inch or eight inch pan you can use that also but I always do it you know because I make a lot for a lot of kids you know and in August now I'm gonna be doing a lot more stuff for the kids, for Carabana, and, and a lot of cheesecake and stuff for people having Carabana, a lot of cheesecake and stuff like that. It's gonna be a party weekend. So you just make sure it's even out, right around, and it's not just one big mountain in the middle. Make sure it just even it out, and uh, you have a better fluffier nicer area cake see fluff it out don't let it in the middle get too high see that's a bit even my hands are clean 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 That's what you want to get folks like that okay and that is your lemon cake right there and I'm gonna stick it in the oven right now I 
and it's gonna bake for about 40 minutes folks like, or you could just stick your uh, uh, a toothpick in it because sometimes you know when you get that um thing on the recipe tell it that time if it's not big it, it, it depends folks on your oven because everybody um seem to have a different oven so folks i'm gonna stick this in the oven and you understand i'm gonna come right back have it cool and show you how we are um, gonna put the icing on okay so we'll be right back Hi right, guys, I'm back in PSG and the cake is done and it's cool and we're just going to move it from the pan and folks, you know it's done all around it is golden brown, see that? It's beautiful and then if you want to make more than one layer then you just double up the recipe if you want to make a triple deck or a double deck so and also folks, if you want you can also use um orange and instead you have the orange juice and the orange just or even a lime and you know so this so this is it so this cake is um a very versatile cake it's not just limited to um to lemon you can also have an orange and you use the zest of the orange and the zest of the orange juice i make all of those already and also the lime one is very nice almost like a key lime you know so this is it but this one the lemon folks it give it a very intense flavor because all through the cake is lemon you have lemon zest and you have um the lemon juice so this is what it looks like here folks beautiful so okay normally um what you could do um the recipe i had is uh, um the icings um it, it calls for like um just okay if you just want to do on the top of it right then you're gonna be using like um one cup of confectionery sugar and you know that's icing powder and three tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice but the kids they want it um ice all the way around so i double up that so instead i have two cups and folks, make sure to, to um, um, sieve your um, ice and sugar because um, to get rid of the lumps and also it gave you a taste, a, be a good flavor, a better taste. So what I'm going to be doing right now, so I have two cups of ice and sugar here and I'm going to start adding in. So I have six um, tablespoons of lemon juice here and this cake, folks, is going to be like lemonade all through the in the icing there's lemon in the cake uh, lemon and lemon zest so and this is how thick how you want your icing you know if you don't want it too runny then you have to just watch how much icing how much um lemon juice and if you find it's too runny then you just add a little bit more and it's not a very sweet cake folks that's the thing it's just a cup of sugar and you know with all that lemonade well, um it just cancel it out it cancel a lot of the sugar so you're not going to be heating a very sweet sweet cake so with the icing on it and i think you could also use a cream cheese um topping but these kids they, they want the plain icing you know and this is it so i'm mixing up this right now and you want to get a see even with the two cups of sugar folks see um so And I didn't, yeah, I'm just going to, so six tablespoons of the, um, the lemon juice, okay. Whoops. Didn't catch too bad. I, I hope this is not too, um. Use me because, like I said, you don't want to have it too runny and you don't want to have it overall too thick. Okay, and this. I think it's a little bit, I have to add a little bit more um, ice and sugar to it. Lucky thing, my ice and sugar isn't, isn't lumpy. 
because you don't want to have a it just running all over the place you want to have the right consistency so i'm going to add a little bit more icing because this is yeah that is a bit runny i should have all back on the lemon but you know i made it a few times before but so i'm gonna put a little more ice and sugar in it and as i said it's not a sweet cake it's just uh i think one cup of sugar and that was it And folks, when it's done, if you leave it out, it's gonna, um, the icing is gonna have a sort of a crisp, um, it's gonna get a bit hard, and still nice, and this cake could last for, um, I think about two weeks or so, um, remember lemon is in it, so it's cured, <laughs> you know, you don't have to worry about it going bad, it could last even longer in the fridge, it could last... Let's keep it in the fridge because the, the lemon is right there. The acid cures it, you know. I am going to see what I can hear. It could go on hot too, folks. And when you finish it, you could use it right away. I think it's gonna why do I think it's still a bit thin oh. so you don't want to have it running when you have a recipe folks and it say like say the six tablespoon of um lemon juice you have to sort of um you see i didn't this is the first time i did i'm just pouring all the lemon so there is a first i always just you know slowly pour it in okay so because i did that okay, that should be good right now I am gonna put that on a plate. It's it's on the um but I'm gonna put it on something wider. Okay. Yeah, it's much better. And like I said, this could be you could do a triple decker or double decker with this. Um yeah, no, this is it. I think this is the consistency I'm looking for right now. And the lemon cancel out a lot of the sweets all of that sweetness the lemon cancel out okay and you're just gonna let it drip down to the side you know kids already they love their um sweet stuff and it's a treat for them you're not gonna get a bit of it here and, and like I said, this cake is, is not very sweet because of the lemon and it's only a cup of sugar in it. A little bit of mess, but I'll just clean that up afterward. See the mess I'm making, folks? <laughs>
kids. It's a bit sleeping on the side. And this is for kids folks, so you don't have to be perfect on it. You just want to, and I'm not saying just because of kids, you're not going to do it right. But you know, you don't have to do a lot of fancy thing on this on a lemon cake. You know, no fancy. That is all about the taste of the cake, you know. I can't find my small little spatula, so that's why I'm working with the spoon right now. I normally have a little spatula that goes all the way around. And get it done all nice. I should use a knife instead. Not working with my equipment here that I normally work with, so and if you make it too thick, then you know it get you know this this way is just nice. You just wanna just like how you do the apple fritters, you just put on your icing. And some people what they do folks they just um when it comes out of the oven hot they just put on the icing and it goes right through the cake and keep it very moist that's another way to do it also Not a cake that you need perfection on, folks. I have to look for my spatulas and um. Uh, Let it drip over the edge. I'm trying to get rid of. Crawl all around the edge.
Voilà. And all through the cake folks, all you'll be tasting is a lot of lemon. A lot of lemon. Real lemon. So folks, when you're doing it, make sure it's not lemon juice from the bottle, okay? Concentrate. Real lemon. Real lemon from the bottle. From the, the, the lemon itself. Otherwise you won't get the same um you won't get the same taste. I think. Basically that's it there, folks. And folks, it's a very simple cake and not a lot of um, we haven't need a lot of ingredients in this recipe. Let us get rid of this. in a bit that's the extra coming off a bit and like I said um this kit yeah I'm just to get it cut so and this cake, you don't have to wait for long. Um, Unlike cheesecake, you can cut it right now. So, okay. So this is a lemon cake here, folks. That's what it is. So let's see. We can cut a piece and you can it's very moist folks, very very moist. Okay folks, this is the lemon cake right there. That's a beautiful slice right there. Hmm. Folks, all I can taste is the lemon. Absolutely fantastic. So folks, that is I'm making a mess here, folks. And this is the piece beside it here. So that's the lemon cake. That's the piece right there. And I'm sure it's gonna be gone soon. The kids. They're still outside there after they came back from um, the carnival. So they'll be in shortly. So Folks, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Appreciate it. And...
leave a comment and thumbs up folks thumbs up and a comment is so important okay and subscription is free folks subscription so this is our famous lemon cake there folks with real, real lemon make sure you do the real lemon in it so that's the lemon cake right there please like share and subscribe to the channel and folks look at this how moist it is see that huh mm. beautiful so that's the lemon cake right there folks Marinello, big up yourself. Fire, big up yourself. Deacon, big up yourself. This will be gone soon when you come in, folks. So that's a lemon cake right there. Nice and easy, okay? So, guys, thanks for subscribing, sharing. Thumbs up, likes, all of that. And have yourself a wonderful evening. Peace.